Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, just a quick little video this evening. Um, this is my Gordon Smith GS 1.5 guitar, which if you saw the video that I made of this um, a few weeks ago when I first got it, you will know that I absolutely adore this guitar. Um, if you haven't seen the video, there's a link to it in the description box below. Uh, but that was first impressions, that video, so how is uh, the new toy fitting in with um, you know the grand scheme of things here? How am I getting used to it? How is it um, panning out as a, as a working instrument? Well, I'll cut straight to the chase. I absolutely love this guitar, um, and the reason why is because all of my favourite guitar sounds... Uh, be it a Strat sound, a Les Paul sound, a Telecaster sound, a 335 style sound. All of those sounds I can coax out of this guitar. All of my favourite sounds from those guitars anyway. Um, just because the volume and tone controls are really usable across the entire range of uh, of their travel. And it's such a simple guitar, you know, um, you got the uh, single coil humbucker switching on the bridge pickup. And, you know, as I say, three-way selector, volume and tone controls that are eminently usable across the whole range. It makes for a very versatile guitar that I can get a whole range of sounds out of. Coming up next, you're going to see um, basically a selection of the sounds that I use all of the time out of this guitar. Uh, I'm playing through the settings you can see here on screen for the clean sound, the crunch sound and the high gain sound as ever through my trusty, trusty Vox Tone Lab. And yeah, I think you'll agree that I can do a passable impersonation of a Strat, a Tele, a Les Paul and a 335, all with this one rather fine instrument. Here's what I mean. <laughs> So, as hopefully you can see from that, there are a whole breadth of sounds available just from the simple, intuitive um, control setup on this instrument. And yeah, it's it's not an exaggeration to say that. I don't think I've picked up any of the other guitars for more than a few minutes at a time since uh, this one arrived. I mean, obviously there are some sounds it won't do. I mean, it's never going to sound like a 12-string Rickenbacker, for example, but then again, that isn't a sound that I have much call for. Um, it won't do, obviously, that kind of honky position 2, position 4 on, the, on a Strat kind of sound, but then again... That's not a sound I tend to use much these days. I think I overdosed on it in um, the 80s and 90s. And um, it's a little bit like that alcoholic beverage that we all have, I'm sure, that uh, once upon a time we overindulged on it and it gave us, 
you know, a clattering hangover the next day, and uh, we've not been able to face it ever since. With me, by the way, that's Carlsberg Special Brew. Just the very whiff of that stuff sets the old chunder muscles twitching. So, yeah, that kind of in-between uh, strat sound isn't one that I tend to use that much anyway. Um, so... You know, I don't miss it on this guitar, but it does do a rather fine um, neck pickup Texas blues kind of sound, which is one of my all time favorite uh, Fender or Strat sounds. And, you know, I get a, a very good version of it from this. So there you go. The uh, Gordon Smith GS 1.5, a little bit of an update. As you can tell, I am still a man in love. I'm absolutely smitten with the guitar and um, I can't see that changing anytime soon. So there you go, that's it for today folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video and possibly um, got a little bit of interest in Gordon Smith guitars. Check them out if you've not uh, if you've not tried one. You will probably not be disappointed, I'm certainly not. I'll just mention as well that I have a couple of courses on sale on my website at the moment. Uh, basically a beginner's course, a beginner to lead guitar course, uh, play lead guitar the easy way. Everything that you need to know to play uh, great sounding lead guitar solos with the minimum of fuss and the minimum of music theory and boring scale practice loads of jam tracks loads of licks check it out um also if you know you want something a little bit more advanced making the modes easy basically the same approach to uh, the whole topic of playing lead guitar with modes um something that does confuse a lot of people needlessly because it is very easy as i show you in this course they're both available from the url you can see on screen and the link is also in the description below or if you prefer some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then give me a shout via the details at the end of this video if you live on teesside in the northeast of england you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson or wherever else you are in the world you can have a lesson via skype and whichever way you do it your first lesson is of course free so what do you got to lose and with that i'll bid you all a good day say thank you for watching and i do look forward to seeing you all again next time around bye for now folks mm -hmm.